Hi, it's Dotone Dan at Dotone Designs, and I wanted to show an example of limited color use and getting multiple colors more bang for your buck. Um, what we have is just a basic three color print, and uh, this was a uh, JPEG artwork on uh, a business card, so uh, I reviewed the uh, websites for. Uh, some clip art and couldn't find anything that was identical to this and this is what the customer wanted so I had to redraw in uh, vector art in Adobe Illustrator uh, created the clean line work and uh, brought it into Photoshop to uh, color separate uh, I brought it in <coughs> at 1200 ppi resolution for crisp clean um, edge selections and I do that frequently to uh, for multiple reasons. First, being on this job, this is a, just a left chest screen print, and um, so I wanted to make sure I was able to reuse this artwork. So, uh, not only is it in vector, of course, but it's also uh, the the Photoshop separations. I can use this as uh, stock art later uh, for multiple uses and uh, larger sizes. So. Um, you know, I bring it in at 1200 resolution due to color separations, and uh, I can reuse it, scale it up later. Uh, not to mention that higher resolutions uh, separate or um, are better for color separation purposes. Um, I find that you're able to pull smoother separations. Uh, your print is your, your each channel is going to look smoother with a higher resolution file. Um, an exaggerated example would be if you're using um, a JPEG uh, of a business card and you just, uh, it's a photo and you scan that in and um, you uh, try to color separate that, it's going to look pretty trashy. And um, there's just no way to make good selections from that. Um, uh, a, uh, the, the difference would be if, if that was a high resolution photo and um, you uh, you know were able to separate uh, a high res file you're going to come out with a lot better smoother crisper uh, selections better uh, colored blends transitions and um, so that's why it just makes more sense to use high resolution files and um, backed into the uh, the colors in, in this example what I'm doing here is I'm printing black halftone down first and uh, my colors over top and my half tones of this black screen are a little heavier than I would normally do and with the black especially if it was printing over top or at the end of the print uh, I would not have it as heavy as it is but right now you can see there's um, you know a 38 percent half tone fill up in this area and this drum here in the background is 30 percent that's fine but these areas are going to blend with other colors and I blend I love blending two to three colors of light tints, light percentages, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, I'm trying to get a beige in these drums. And uh, so I have black down here, but over top of that, I'm printing a little bit of red, and you can see the red all by itself. And that's only got seven to eight percent halftone over top of that, and the same with the yellow. And uh, so printing over top of this gray, or this black halftone, wet on wet, on high mesh, with translucent inks, you're going to get a nice uh, thrashing around of, of uh, halftone pixels that are going to blend uh, when these colors run over top of each other. When these two run over top of the black, you're going to get a nice mesh of these colors um, versus printing a halftone black on a white background shirt that becomes very dotty. And the goal for me is I want to get this a little bit closer to um, a photo blend and you do that with wet inks high mesh and translucent inks and you can see how the different tones I'm getting out of the I'm getting browns and beiges and um, yellows and um, orange for warm shadow tones underneath the symbols and uh, gray in the um, uh, stands and whatnot and black solid type black going down first that's going to print down a little heavier so you can fill that in and not worry about it as much as you would some people would uh, separate this out and print in uh, two screens of black for the one for the solid type and one for the half tones so here in this case you don't need to do that you can uh, print it down pretty heavy and that's about it but I uh, get pretty nice tones out of this thanks much bye bye